Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. This time I want to show you how easily you can use the cloud simulation in Blender to quickly create a scene like this to create some pillows and some blanket and probably at the end make a little composition out of it. If you enjoy this, please leave that like button, it really helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I release something new. And goal of this video is to give you some small tips how you can enhance your workflow in Blender. If you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn all of my workflow, all of my tricks, the composition, the modeling, the lighting, the whole treatment, you can go ahead and check out my website polygonrunway.com. You can find the link in the description. I've made courses specifically designed to take you from zero to hero in Blender in the most time efficient way and there's something for beginners as well as for more intermediate users and additionally there were some pricing changes lately and I have a new ultimate 3d bundle and all of my content is now available as a single package so if you're interested in the most efficient learning please go check that out and now without further ado let's jump right into empty blender scene and start modeling let's start with the pillow first and I'll press shift a and add a new plane here and I want to scale this a bit so let's tap into the edit mode let's press s then x and I will enter 2 I want to scale this exactly two times and I want to scale this exactly by two so we have nice square quads there so let's press ctrl r let's do a cut in the middle and now we can press a to select all right click and choose to subdivide and you can increase number of subdivision here I think 10 is the max number this should work maybe once more so something like this and the goal here is to create a cloth that will inflate and create the pillow so all we need to do is just to extrude this so let's press e and extrude this tiny bit like that this should be enough and now if we tab out and go into the physics tab we can enable cloud simulation here i won't go over all of these settings basically i'm interested in the pressure settings here so let's enable pressure and see what that does you can see it's set at zero so we need to set some number here so let's start with one let's play it safe and let's hit spacebar and you can see this falls down because the physics world in blender has a gravity active so let's rewind this and we need to scroll down and disable the field weights for the gravity and now it will behave as expected and I can see right away that that pressure is not enough so let's increase that to something like two and let's see how that goes and this is more like it but I think the pillow is too long so let's select all and scale it down a tiny bit like this and let's play that simulation once again okay this works and it's pretty snappy because we didn't subdivide this too much so now that we are satisfied with the settings we can increase the number of subdivision to get some more granular simulation so let's right click and subdivide this once again and now if i play this you will see it's a lot slower but then again there are a lot more details in place you can see those wrinkles might look a little bit better so it kind of depends on what level of detail are you going for if you're for example working with some stylized environment and you really just want a stylized shape of a pillow the lower level of detail should be fine and additionally we can add some subdivision surface modifier by pressing ctrl 2 to see how this looks smooth and right click and shade smooth this looks okay in my opinion but i think those wrinkles are too detailed let's try to go back a few steps i will press ctrl z to unsubdivide this and play that animation once again and now let's add that subdivision modifier and i think this will work just fine we have ourselves some pillow and now this all works in the timeline so if you leave this long enough to cache you can then stop and rewind to a point where you like the shape of the pillow the most for example something like this and now to actually convert this to mesh we can remove that subdivision and just go object convert to and mesh so that's our pillow and now we can apply that subdivision modifier so we have some editability in there and the next step i want to do is to create some kind of blanket over those pillows so we'll need some more environment in here so let's press g then z move this up slightly and now let's press shift a and let's add a plane 
Now I will go into the edit mode by pressing tab and scale it out. Something like this doesn't really matter. And now let's add another plane and we'll create shape for bed. Let's look from the top by pressing seven on an unpad. We can eyeball the proportions, something like this should be fine. And let's extrude this. And now I'll press shift D to duplicate this and P enter to separate tab out. And I have a new object here that I can extrude and now press three for face select alt click the loop here and let's press alt s to scale it out to something like that and now let's add the bevel modifier to give this some smoothness i will increase segments to two and maybe reduce the amount a tiny bit or maybe even add more segments and leave it smooth like this let's click shade smooth and in the shading let's enable hard and normal so let's switch to object data properties enable auto smooth and let's go all the way to 180 degrees and we can transfer this easily to the bottom part as well so let's select that one shift click the top part and let's click this little arrow and copy to select it and now here we can adjust that amount a little bit and right click shade smooth and again enable that auto smooth here we have some scene scaffolding so let's look from the top and let's move that pillow somewhere here maybe add another one and rotate it a little bit and to give this more variation we can press r twice and do a new rotation and show the pillow from the other side something like this okay and the idea is to create a blanket that kind of falls over these two pillows let's press shift a add the plane let's press g and z and move it up Let's look from the top and tab in, scale it out like this. Don't make it too large, something like this should be enough. And I will move it in the object mode so the origin point stays in the middle. And now of course we'll need to subdivide this. So let's tab in, right click and subdivide. And again, you can increase number of cuts, but I just like to click few more times to make this in a non-linear way and let's try it with density like this so we don't stress our gpus that much tab out and let's enable that cloth simulation here as well and let's rewind the timeline and if we play this you can see that it simply falls through because we need some collisions there let's select the mattress here and in the physics tabs let's just enable collision and I will leave the settings as they are and let's enable collision for the bottom plane as well and I want to do the same for the pillows because I want the blanket to fall over them and let's rotate this a little bit maybe something like this so it's a little bit messy here and now let's play this animation and you can see the blanket falls nicely over and you can easily just pause here and you know convert this to mesh and you have some nice blanket but i think it can be refined even more so let's rewind this and first of all i want to move this towards the front a little bit more maybe make it larger and now to make it look a little bit more real um, we can give some air pressure to the blanket as well so let's tab in and press e to extrude like that okay and now let's scroll down and enable that pressure and here something like 0.1 should be enough to give this a little bit of the volume inside so it doesn't look like a flat plane so let's play this animation and you can see this works pretty nicely now if we press ctrl 2 to add some subdivision modifier this works fine but there are some of these glitches here where the other side of the blanket comes through so to get rid of that we need to scroll down and enable self collisions here so the mesh will collide with itself now let's rewind this and play it once more and you can see this is much more smoother and nicer and i will probably just leave it like this this works just fine and to get some nicer details i will go into the edit mode select all and subdivide this once again but i don't want this edge in the middle so i will select it and press ctrl x to dissolve now tab out and let's play the animation once again this will be fairly slower because we added some more details but you can see the simulation is more granular you can see these wrinkles here and i really like that this will be our blanket and we can let it fall a little bit towards the floor okay something like this and right now I just want to go to object and convert this to mesh, but I don't want that subdivision there. So I will remove it for a second and now go to object convert and 
choose mesh and now press ctrl 2 to add that subdivision but don't forget to right click and shade smooth that's the quick bed if you're creating for example some isometric room or you want to recreate your bedroom these little tricks can help you to quickly create cloud simulation at various levels of detail no matter if you're working on a stylized scene or realistic one i will leave it like this and now i will fast forward and create a little bit of a scene out of this little bit composition so i'll probably add some props in here maybe some abstract shapes and put in some lighting and render out an image so we have some nice youtube thumbnail so let's do that and see you on the other side
so that's a little bedroom scene for you i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave that like if you're new to the channel and you really like to see this in the future please hit that subscribe button and if you like please go ahead and check out my courses on polygonrunway.com thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day Thank you.